Hi, and welcome to American Printer TV. I'm Tamara Ferlansky. And I'm John Hamilton. This is your source for the latest in industry news and education. Well, we want to thank those of you who watched our first cast, and for those of you who are tuning in for the first time this week, enjoy. And we've recouped, recovered, and now we're ready to bring you a complete rundown of everything Print09. So why wait? Here's a preview of our top stories. Stop the presses. We have all the highlights from Print09. NAPL's chief economist says the future of print looks brighter. We get up close and personal with Steve Johnson in this week's Columnist Corner. He talks about personal URLs or pearls. This cast is proudly brought to you by Kamori. Although a bit smaller than in the past, Print09 still managed to pack a powerful punch this year. More than 650 exhibitors and thousands of attendees packed almost 545,000 square feet of space in Chicago's McCormick Place starting September 11th. What they got was a look at the latest technologies to hit the industry and new exhibit areas, including the Green Space Pavilion, Rap City, and the world debut of Pack Print, an all-inclusive and comprehensive show for today's diverse package printing industry. On top of the booth and free presentations, Print09 also offered an extensive seminar program. Exhibitors say the attendees were focused and leads were strong for the industry's most anticipated North American trade show. Well, at Print09, NAPL's chief economist Andy Paparozzi took the opportunity to address a standing room only crowd at Heidelberg's booth to give his state of the industry address on day two of the show. In his speech, preparing for a recovery that will leave the unprepared behind, Paparozzi says recovery is finally on the way for the commercial printing industry and printers will see growth in 2010. Recovery is on the way. Our industry will grow in 2010 for the first time in three years, but absolutely no one, no matter how big, established, or successful in the past, is guaranteed a share of that growth, or can assume that recovery, even when at full strength, is going to make everything right. Now, once upon a time, we could. Once upon a time, ladies and gentlemen, our recoveries were inclusive. They were the rising tides that lifted all boats, but not anymore. Where our recoveries were inclusive, they are now increasingly exclusive, increasingly reserved for companies that are prepared for what our industry is becoming. And as we will see, our industry is not simply changing. It is being redefined. It is becoming something fundamentally different than it was. Before they can even become the buzz of Print09, the latest and greatest technologies the industry has to offer got a little recognition before the show started. GASC's annual Must See Em Awards once again recognize the industry's hottest new technologies. NAPL consultant and American printer columnist Ray Prince takes a closer look at just a few of this year's Must See Em Award winners. We've been looking at some of the new technologies and today we're going to highlight for you some of the Must See Em's Award winners and take a look at why they won the award and look at it from a technology perspective of you, the printer. Uh, we're standing here at the end of a, of a large uh, six color Mitsubishi at the color control unit, etc. We'll be moving over and show you the actual navigator system. Mark, let me turn this over to you and please describe to us a little bit what we see on the screen here. The most important thing you'll notice about this press is there are no piano keys anymore. Everything can be done from the color navigator. So we can basically highlight a certain area of the print. He can basically come down here to the color wheel and he can pick where he wants this color to go in this area. And then if the press was running, you would see the actual color before and after change on this spectrum here. As Ray mentioned, it did win the uh, Intertech Award this year. We're very proud of that. Here we are at the Xerox booth, and I'm here with Mark from Xerox taking a look at the new iGen 4 220 press, which is a tandem press. Why should I, as a commercial printer, be looking very hard at the iGen 4? Okay, thank you. 
we actually looked at what the operators did in the iGen 3 and what took them out of production. And we took all those elements and automated those. What we did with the 220 system behind me is we actually took two of the iGen 4 systems, connected them together in tandem to have an automatically perfecting press to run a 220 letter size impressions per minute. Still the full capability of the iGen 4 110 press as far as sheet size, sheet weights, and economics and things like that, now on the advanced scale of 220 per minute. We actually have automated sensors inside the machine that measure color to do optimization of what we call high definition linearization, where we actually re-linearize the halftone dots within the engine, and we also have automated color calibration and color profiling on the press to make sure that, that color is optimized and maintained there. Zycon and Screen USA have announced they've entered into a joint marketing program. Through the program, Screen will offer Zycon digital color solutions to its U.S.-based clients for book publishing and transactional and trans-promo applications. In turn, Zycon will offer Screen's TruePress Jet 520. Also making news at Print09, HP and Pitney Bowes announced the launch of the company's new production color printing system for high-volume transactional mailers. The new offering, the Pitney Bowes IntelliJet Printing System, includes HP's T300 Color Inkjet Web Press. The system provides seamless integration for large mailers looking to enhance revenues and streamline operations. It is available from Pitney Bowes for immediate sale. Well, John, it's time to take a quick commercial break here on American Printer TV. We'll have more coverage of Print09 coming up later in the cast. The LSX29 is the most efficient mid-size press on the market. The feeder adopts the lead edge air design and ensures that even the toughest stocks can be fed at extremely high speed without bounce or constant trips. And when you add the new value added options like inline foiling, embossing and die cutting, it is simply the best mid-size press on the market to move your business to the next level. Celebrating its second year, American Printers Environmental Excellence Awards presentation was a chance to highlight some of the greener printers in the industry. The event was held in the Green Space Pavilion. Gold, silver, bronze, and Certificate of Merit winners were on hand to receive their awards, recognizing their commitment to environmentally conscious printing. This year's winners include Chicago-based printer Digital Hub, Paragon Press of Salt Lake City, Utah, and the Advertisers Printing Company located in St. Louis, Missouri. Rick Mazur from Kodak, the program's premier sponsor, handed out this year's awards. Kodak is very committed to sustainability and really being a good corporate sponsor in the communities it does business. It makes good business for our customers to do the same thing. Um, a good sustainability strategy will help you grow your business, it'll help you reduce your costs, it'll help you compete more effectively. And I think each of the customers that were here were great examples of that, and I would urge other customers to follow those examples. I'm Steve Johnson, the Johnson's World columnist for American Printer. We're here at Print09, where we're surrounded by software for doing pearls, personalized URLs. Personalized URLs are big, and they can be used in print or in email mailings. In email mailings, they're easy to follow. Click, and you've followed it. In print, there's an investment by the recipient. They have to open the letter, they have to read the URL, they have to type it in to follow it. And when they do that, we know that they genuinely care about following up on our leads. Pearls are a great opportunity if they're used properly. Thanks for that, Steve. Now, we've tried to cover everything we could from Pinto 9, but we just couldn't fit it all in. But don't worry. You can head over to AmericanPrinter.com forward slash Pinto 9 for anything and everything conference related. And if you missed the last American Printer cast, just click the archive tab right above us to get caught up. Questions, comments, we want to hear them, so please click the Contact Us link and share. We look forward to hearing from you. See you next time.